Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Vaughn Plays Morrowind. Uh, let's just put the run mode on. Okay, last time we disposed of a missing hand, and now we are sent on a quest. A quest to find two missing sword pieces. We already have the one. That's, um, not this one. It's, um, where is it? It's this one, Broken Dwemer Blade Piece. And I'll just come straight out and say it. I cheated a bit. Because I had absolutely no idea where to go. I was like, what do I do? I don't... She tells me to, to ask for people that I've, you know, that I can trust to give me counsel. But I don't trust anyone here and no one's given me counsel except for her and Fedra's Lair and maybe the other guy. I don't know anyone here. So I had to look it up, and I did. And apparently there is some uh, smith who I never spoke to before, who I have to speak to. Then of course there is the um, uh, Queen Berenziah who apparently knows a thing or two. And there is uh, the person in the Museum of Artifacts, which on closer uh, inspection indeed makes some sort of sense. Um, Let's first, though, go to Berenzia, see what she has to say. And yes, I also know what else um, I have to do. It might take a pretty long time to do it. But hey, it'll fill a few episodes, so that's cool. Just need to find Berenzia's quarters. Now, I always miss those because I'm not sure it's this way is it is it this way I think it is this way also yay level up um is it here palace throne room and surely on that side of the throne room oh wait um uh, I know whatever you want I think, I think it was, yeah, I think I know now. Give me a second, it's House of Chambers, and these were not Berenzia's Chambers. Where is Berenzia's Chambers? I walked straight past them, didn't I? That's, that's just, that's just me. I, I do that sort of thing all the time. But never mind, I, I'm not going to talk to Burns here because I know where I have to go. Sorry guys, I know this is not as engaging as normally, but I was at my wit's end here. Hi, Kerrod. What may Kerrod do for you, my mighty one? Well, I thought that you had a piece of blade. When I was a child, my father gave me this weapon. He told me that as long as I had it, none would defeat me in battle until the rightful owner came to claim it from me. I know now that you are the one who, of whom I spoke. I give it to you freely. May it serve you as well as it has served me. Oh, that's dear of the guy. Yeah, I I wish I had a better um I you know I oh. Okay, found Berenzia's chambers. <laughs> um, so let's get out of here, because now this was the easy part. This was the exceedingly easy part, actually. The hard part. Will be where I talk to the person in the. I think it was in God's Reach, wasn't it? I think it was. I always forget that sort of thing. Well, not always, sometimes. Let's go to God's Reach, just to make sure. But yeah, um. I. Because I, I was walking around, I was thinking. Who the hell could I ask for this sort of thing? And I completely, I had no, no bloody idea. It was amazingly stupid. I, uh, Museum of Artifacts, surely you know something. Because, wow, that's a big troll. Yes. Yaga go group. I'm the one you want. What do you want? I'm here to make weapons, not to chat. Wow. 
I can't make any blade you want. Don't care whose it was to start with or who this netherfight is. Bring me the pieces and I'll put together better than was before. To work with that kind of material, I'll work for free, but I'll need the pieces first. Now go away. Okay, that's not very, very nice at all. Oh, I went into the wrong place. I have to go to... Wait, but where is the Museum of Artifacts? It's right there. I meant to go here. Oh well. It's another perfect day in Mournhold. So, do you have something? Um... Museum of Artifacts. Uh, piece of blade, piece of blade. The pieces of the Blade of Nerv are here in Mournhold. Now there's something I'd like to get my hands on for the museum. I can't say that I've seen any that I, that I know, but I do have one piece from roughly the same size, and it seems to be of Dwemer construction. What's that piece, then? I don't even have it on display, because I haven't been able to positively identify it yet. It's a shield of Dwemer make, but not traditional in any sense of the word. The pieces of it just don't seem to match, and I've wondered if it isn't some sort of fake. I suppose I might be able to part with it, but I'll need some compensation. <sighs> what kind of compensation would that be? I've always, I'm always looking for a new piece of for the Museum of Artifacts. Unique items, armor and weapons of lore, you know the stuff. If you'd be willing to donate a couple to the museum, I'd be willing to part with the shield. So... I knew this was coming. Um... A bit annoying that I have to... You know, th that's... That's what is probably going to take a fair bit of time. Unless I can somehow steal something, but I doubt it. Justice. Uh, because she says I don't even have it on display. Which probably means that it's basically nowhere. Uh oh, I'm, I, I, I didn't look. I didn't look. So I'm thinking... That, um... I need to get some artifacts. Which ones? Well, there's a few, but lots of those will only be, you know, awarded to you if you do some quest line of some such, which is pretty, pretty damn, you know, big and long and re. And I just want to finish this here quest line on in, 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 you know, this place. So I'm thinking, um, there's a few things we can do. Uh, let's see, there were a few here, both shadows, fists of Redigal. Didn't we have the both shadows? Probably not. No, we didn't. Blades of the Monarch, Ring of Surroundings, Ring of the Wind, Mentor's Ring, Bow, Boots of the Apostle. Um... There's, one. there's quite a few of them, actually. There's quite a few things that I could, you know... Um, that I could do, but one of the ones that I want to do is the Umbra Sword. It was enchanted by the ancient witch Nainra Well, Nainra Ware, and its sole purpose was the entrapment of souls. Used in conjunction with a soul gem, the sword allows the wielder the opportunity to imprison an enemy's soul in the gem. Nainra was executed for her evil creation, but not before she was able to hide the sword. The Umbra Sword is very choosy when it comes to owners, and therefore remains hidden until a worthy one is found. I happen to know where that one is, and it's relatively easy to get. So that's one I might want to um, get into. Also, there's a sword that's not listed in that book, which is the bipolar sword. And I will do something with both of them, but first I will return to Morrowind in order to, you know, well, do Morrowindy stuff. And actually, Morrowind is far cool, so I will do some Morrowindy stuff and get Umbra, and then I'll return here and do some other stuff, you know, with the other thing that I'm supposed to get. The Bipolar Blade is what it was. And which, I think it's over there. I'm stuck in a tree, aren't I? Yes, I am. There it is. Reception area. Send me back, you! Yes! I can get away then. Yes. Yes. Okay, so where do I go? I think it was dirt, not dirt, there. Dirt, everywhere. Dirt. Okay. Clean it up then. 
Okay, I think my game has a bit of trouble loading the LOD. It's, it hasn't had it hasn't had to do that for quite a while, so it took a fair bit for it to actually finish. Where's your uniform? Where's your uniform? Oh god, I forgot about that. Um. Okay, so where is that guy? He's near Suran, which means that we probably have to take a ship to some place first. Probably Vivek. And from Vivek, we can take this little strider to Suran. Should be easy enough. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Well, nothing anymore. You brought me to the right place. I'm fine with that. I think it would be uh, it would have been pretty pretty fun if they'd actually you know with the boats they would have had the same boat with the same character on every stop so that it would actually have the sort of you know impression that he took you there and that he's always traveling because now it doesn't really make sense you talk to one guy on um, you know on a dock somewhere and you travel by boat and suddenly you end up on another boat that's weird right Anyway, uh, Suran, that's where we're going. That's where we're headed. Okay, so... I just need to find out where the guy exactly is, because I've, I haven't the foggiest, so... I'm just going to have to, um, talk to someone, I guess. Um... Do you, have you heard anything about a orc with a big sword who's standing around here somewhere? Well, I don't know if anyone else has seen him, but I saw some crazy guy wandering around the hills east of here recently. He was all decked out in armor and waving his sword, mumbling about there being no one to challenge him. I'd steer clear, stranger. East, you say? Well, thank you. Okay, east. East. Hills east. What am I being attacked by? Oh, yeah, why am I even surprised? Give me my pants back. And I can engage. Easy peasy. Okay, there's um, a guy bedecked in armor to the east of Soran. Over the hills and not all that far away. Let's see, we should be able to see him pretty soon. Right? Right, game? I mean, we are to the east now, I would say. Just, I'll just keep to the rocks here, and hey, that is that him? That's him. Hello, Umbra. Can you even be trusted? I'm not sure, can I? Have you come seeking me? My name is unimportant and my accomplishments are few. Well, you're kind of neg negligible then. What is the use of knowing my name? If it will make you feel more comfortable, you may call me Umbra. It is the name of my blade, though it may as well be mine. Okay, what have you done? What are any of my accomplishments in the whole of this world? I've traveled from one end of the land to the other. I've killed creatures that can stop a man's heart but w with but a look. I have the blood of man and myrrh uncountable on my hands. I've seen the atrocities of war and the hideous excess of peace. There's nothing left for me in this world. So atrocities of world, war. Just go into that, you know, entrails all over the place. I've seen the wholesale slaughter of men, women, entire races of people. Villages have burned before my eyes. My hand has held the torch. My hand has thrown water on the flames. I've been ankle deep in blood, swing umbra in a wide arc as for all for the glory of the battle, and here I still stand. I've no more to do in this life. I've saved whole towns from packs of Daedra. And I slaughtered men for the glory of countless nobles. All that is left for me is my own death, and the gods have cheated me of death. That. All I ask is to die like a warrior, but how can that be? I know of a way. 
I don't believe it is too much to ask that I as a warrior should, in battle. It is my curse, though, that I found no one that can be best me in combat. Are you the one that can? Can you come and life me, lift me from these shackles of life? Come then, be the new wielder of Umbra. Okay, death it is. Your bones will be my dinner. I thought you wanted to die. <laughs> wow, nice sidestep, dude. But I'm sorry, you are going to die. Uh oh, yeah, no, it's not going to go free. Oh. Okay, I was going to do some really clever remarks here, but turns out that I'd better just save my breath for actually killing you. Wow. That was pretty, um... Okay, Umbra Sword. Soul Trap. I'm not, you know, not in the least bit interested in Soul Trap, but... Uh, 50, 45, 40... We now have one of the bits that we need to... Over Encumbered. Art thou serious? No, I'm at 500. No way I'm over encumbered. Anyway, I'm just going to heal. You've ascended to level 26. The results of hard work and dedication always look like luck to saps. But you know you've earned every ounce of your success. Endurance, personality, and willpower. Okay. Wait, now I don't need personality, I have money. <laughs> oh yeah, I was over encumbered. That's nice. Can I just... I'll drink some syrodilic brandy, and I'm fine. Look at me being fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, possibly, is return to Suran. Then I'm going to return to the thing, to, to the museum. And I'll give this sword away because it's weighing me down no end. First though, I'll probably pay a visit to Balmora to drop some shit off to stow it in um, um, Kai's Casadas' place. You know, just because. I wonder what happened to Kai's Casadas. In the end, like, I mean he was called back, but I wonder what's he up, you know, what, what he's up to. It would be nice to know, you know, if you've got some kind of news or message or whatever. Um, maybe I'll look it up in the wiki or something. Sounds like a pretty interesting topic to pursue, if they've actually detailed that at all. Maybe uh, maybe there is some kind of thing, maybe in like um, Oblivion, there's some entry in a book somewhere that details of his, you know, with details of his exploits. Okay, let's see. What can I stow here? Umbra sword. Yes, I'll take that. Oh, do I have a weapon? I'll have that. Um, while Sunder is good, my blunt weapon skill is just too low to justify its use. So I'll just leave it here. In this shack. Um, for Ebony Scimitar, I, I like it. I like the shape of it. But I won't wield it, so, and it's just, you know, extra, extra, like, weight. So I'm not going to use it either. Same for short blades, not going to use it. What's with these things? Fortify speechcraft, don't need it. Gain Nora's amulet, fortify luck. What have I currently got? Resist paralysis. It doesn't usually work, and it's just 10%. Fortify luck, where is it? 15 points. Could be good, could be good. All these things I can drop, probably. What if I sneak? Constant effect, security, speed. Don't need I'm already top speed. Water walking, I don't care about water walking. Amulet of health. Restore health cards when you use 10 points. Wow, that's low. No. Anything else that I need to stow away here? Invoice. Oh, God. Get, get, let me, just let me put it down. All these things, the common tongue. What else can I drop? Ooh, I have keys! My key cabinet is starting to get rather full. 
Let's see. And another one. And another one! Okay, have I got anything else that I can drop? 300k gold, Jesus fuck. Um, okay, I think I'm fine. I have plenty of potions. Sport Dremel Oil. I'll just have that here. I don't know, for whatever reason, I don't know why. No reason at all, actually. Oh well. Okay, so which of these weapons is better? I think they're like pretty much identical. This one actually has better condition. Weight 60. Yeah, now I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drop the Daedric thing. The Daedric Claymore here. It's fine and all, but... Nah. If, you know, if the max damage is the same, then I don't see any reason not to keep using the one that I already have. And it's bloody heavy. It's like 80. That's insane. So I think with this weight 35, she's uh, pretty big as well. Oh well. Um, uh, excuse me, sir. You're the near friend. Blah 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 blah. I am not interested in your dribble. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Uh, that's good because if it wasn't the same low price, I'd gut you like a wild pig. Okay. So let's see. Uh, you will take me to Ebonheart, and from Ebonheart I will return to Fair Mournhold, where I will donate Umbra Sword to... Kindly, kind, don't forget that, I will kindly donate the Umbra Sword to the Museum of Artifacts. Where's your yeah, you, Oh, come on, lads. Please. Okay, so I'm thinking um, the next thing that we're going to get, like the next artifact, will be the um, so-called bipolar sword. Uh, yes, please. Goodbye.